But uh, we've got uh, Guy Tomberlin, uh, the ICC president of the board of directors, uh, to share a message from the board. And uh, again, welcome, Guy, to the Global thank Forum. Thank you, Raj. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. I um, I apologize that I can't stay for the entire presentation. I especially wanted to hear the the last speaker, uh, and I apologize I couldn't be here. I have a dozen uh, competing um, meetings I'm supposed to be attending at the same time, so I'm trying to get some time at each one. Um, I'm fortunate this year to uh, to have been able to do a little bit of international travel on behalf of the ICC. Uh, I was able to go to Scotland. Um, for the IRCC meeting, and then I was again able to go to uh, Australia for, for another IRCC meeting, which was on the, the heels of their uh, BA, BA uh, regulatory uh, conference, which is very similar to what this conference is uh, to the Australian uh, folks. And it was very enlightening. Um, what I identified was uh, a couple things that uh, I really see the value in ICC's support that we're, that we're able to give uh, other countries in many different ways. Uh, we, do, we have a certification program in Canada. We have converted codes and standards into different languages in other countries. Um, we provide training uh, services in many other countries. So the, we've, got a, we've got a really good mix of services we offer and ways we can help. It, it doesn't necessarily have to be a code adoption. Uh, I have to say that it's been extremely uh, a pleasure to have Raj uh, heading up what we've been doing because uh, the, the work that IAS does is so important. For those of you that don't know, I actually was on their board uh, probably 10, 10 or so years ago and was able to see firsthand what all they do. And they're they're out doing a lot of other things uh, that ICC is able to provide and get and get the get the word out that hey, if this is you know if this is something that you're interested in, perhaps we can come work with you together and try and try and come up with something how we can can all work together. I uh, I especially worked hard this time uh, in Australia to really encourage the Global Council uh, membership, and I had your chairman uh, Jeff Mitchell uh, say a few words with me when I was we were in his home his hometown, so it was very convenient. Um, and uh, he, he was able to, him and I were able to do a, you know, a joint presentation and make a good, make a good presentation on what the value of the, gro the Global Council is. Uh, and you're, you're looking at it. I remember coming to some global forums that weren't quite as well attended as this one. Uh, and I must recognize John Traw because John Traw is actually a founding charter member of the IRCC, and I didn't see him until just now. So, John, thank you very much for, for what you've done. One of the uh, you know one of the things that John's vision was back when this uh, the IRCC was first in, you know the first inception was uh, they're really focused on performance page, which actually led to our performance code and uh, and I hope I'm nailing this for you John because uh, this has been it's been a really big part of my life these trips have been uh, while they're it's it's really been a great uh, opportunity to see some very nice places it's also been a working a working uh, <laughs> there's this committee is not afraid to put out an email now and then and say, hey, what does your country do in this case? And all of a sudden it's a, you know, you have to sit down and write a lot of different things, especially in the U.S. We have 50 states and 50,000 different ways to do things sometimes, so it becomes very challenging. Uh, the performance-based issue has been a, an extremely large part of what the IRCC is trying to do. Uh, the ICC has the performance code. I encourage the IRCC to get in, involved in maybe updating it. It's 20 years old. Uh, at least recognize current technology. Uh, if, it, if the technical content is correct, that's fine. Uh, maybe update the, the technology that's uh, associated with it, just to say, hey, that we're doing it. It's a, it's a very least, a very low used document in the states. And I think what happens in the U.S. is we use a, a section in our building code that's called alternate materials and methods. So I think we're actually doing the exact same thing that all the other countries out there are doing. Uh, we just call it something different. And I think uh, the other countries focus on how to overcome. Uh, in, in Scotland, for example, their their focus was fire protection alternatives. That's that's what their biggest. Uh, we had a half day workshop. A lot of presentations, a lot of simulations and modeling, uh, and it was extremely valuable. And I, I think I was able to offer a lot. Uh, folks are dealing with such common issues around the globe: sustainability and resiliency. Is that that is a huge issue around the globe? Uh, energy, energy conservation. Everybody's facing that. All at the same time, legislators and, 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 and governors are saying, you know, decrease regulation, don't increase regulation. Uh, in the states, we're kind of faced with how, how do we continue to move forward. Uh, with the increasing cost of technologies and, and things like that, uh, trying to recognize that in, in the long run we're saving we're saving dollars and we're saving uh, we're saving resources. Uh, it's a it's a tough sell. Uh, I try and equate it to what we do in the automotive industry. You know, automobiles have come a long way in the last 20 years. Uh, building codes we don't we don't come out with a new code at ICC every three years. We come out with an update. So we come out with a few updates, uh, and it gets it, sometimes one or two of them is very challenging to deal with for localities, and it looks like. 
hey, maybe there's not a, there's, there's, you know, maybe it's, an, you know, it's not that bad. Maybe there's some other things in here that have a lot of value and merit. Uh, and I'm looking forward to being able to uh, provide the global community anything we can. Uh, I'm, I'm committed to that. Your board of directors is committed to that. That's why they had me uh, participating. Um, and if we can move towards commonality and, and working together in, in how we address resiliency, how we address sustainability, uh, Third-party entities, it's a, it's a, there's a, a, several different concepts around the globe. The U.S. is really embracing the concept of third-party third certification programs. So that's, that's something you have a lot, of, uh, you know, a lot of leadership available to give us. Uh, and I think it's a, a really good exchange, and I'm, I'm looking forward to more interaction in the future. Uh, and I hope that if anybody has any questions, they can give me, uh, they can give me a call. I mean, I'll give you a great example. Uh, Singapore is looking at creating a, an inspection process for exterior finish, right, high-rise buildings a lot of high rise in Singapore. Uh, and um, they asked me if I knew anybody in Chicago because they were going to be in the States and they knew they could get to Chicago. And they knew Chicago had a third party inspection program. Within the same day, I sent an email to the building official in Chicago. She identified who would be the person to lead a, a, you know, a group meeting to have them visit us in the States and do the inspection. And within less than 24 hours, they've already got a, a date specific time. They're gonna meet the folks in Chicago. They're gonna do a tour of a couple buildings. They're gonna look at the regulations that they use to implement this type of inspection. And everybody wins. So it's whether they use it or not, that's not the issue. The issue is here's, here's the way somebody's doing it. Why don't we look at that? Why reinvent what's already been done? So it's, uh, I've seen just a tremendous, uh, you know, and I, I've gotta give thanks to John for, for getting it started because uh, I see the value. I mean, all in all, we're, we're all one global community, and it's, uh, it means a lot to be involved in this business and this industry, and I'm proud to be a part of it and humbled when I get out and see that folks are well advanced in a lot of areas, and I'm glad to see that we can be a part of it from ICC. So thank you all for being here. Thank Raj for having this, and I'm sorry I can't stay for the whole thing, but I'll try and catch as much as I can. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Guy. Uh, uh, I, um, I just want to share with you that we have uh, delegates and members from 12 countries, Guy, and also, as you well know, and the board uh, recognized two new chapters, one in Trinidad and Tobago, another one Nigeria. Again, thank you for your leadership and efforts on the global scale, and thank you for taking a few minutes from your busy schedule.